doddering old fool has worn out his welcome finally, and there is no all kidding aside moment here. <sighs> Folks, all kidding aside, none of people are really sick of Joe Biden. Millions of Americans that voted for him in 2020 honestly regret that they ever did that. They're shell-shocked at just how bad Joe Biden really is as president and how divisive and how far left he went. And that he did anything to unite the country, they found out no. In fact, with every bad move, blunder and bluster and hubris, the nation has soured on him. It was a slow reaction at first, but the rejection of Joe Biden and his reckless policies on the economy, the border, energy and foreign relations has been picking up speed for several months now. And on his 81st birthday, he stepped to the microphone in an attempt to make a few comments. And a few years ago, that might not have been so bad. It might have gone all right. But let's be honest here, all right? Has any one of us seen Joe Biden make it through an event, any event at all, without losing his place, mumbling and fumbling and falling all over his words? No, is the answer. In fact, what's really sad is that We've all come to expect Joe to blurt out gibberish, to ramble incoherently, and of course to tell some stories that have been debunked and proven false too many times. Remember, you know, like the tall tale of him planning to attend the Naval Academy to play football, of which there's no proof, and that no one even believes, just one of his fanciful bogus yarns. He did it again yesterday for the crowd, but there's an almost certainty, even when Joe is telling these false stories that he is going to stumble and fall over his tongue, it's not just his tongue. Joe sometimes actually falls flat on his ass on stairs for bikes that are moving and on graduation stages. He's just not there, folks. He's not there anymore. Just take a look at our glorious 100% all there present yesterday pardoning Thanksgiving turkeys. Here we go. Now, just to get here, Liberty and Bell had to beat some tough odds in competition. They had to work hard to show patience and be willing to travel over a thousand miles. You could say even this harder than getting a, a ticket to the Renaissance tour or, or, or Rip Britney's tour. She's down in, it's kind of warm in Brazil right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, got it. And look, every honest person, every honest person knows Joe Biden is not capable of being president of the local garden club, let alone the United States of America. Sure, some faithful keep saying he's doing a great job, but they're lying. Joe's barely keeping his balance. But despite his obvious failures, Joe is ready to drop a lame joke just about any time, too. It usually falls completely flat. 